able to go out there on the floor and play somebody other than yourselves for the first time? Um, we're really diverse. Um, you, if you look at everybody on our team, we all bring something else to the, to the game. Um, you know, it was a lot of high flying plays and um, just good basketball overall. I was really confident and I felt good about the win. How would you describe the vibe on the team right now with the opener just a couple of days away? Everybody's excited. I mean, uh, you know, the opportunity to play in Las Vegas at, at a nice arena, T-Mobile Arena, um, play against a really good team in Oregon. Um, you know, we're, we're fired up. We can't wait. We can't wait to play. You mentioned Oregon. What are your initial impressions of the Ducks? Um, you know, obviously they have uh, you know a familiar face from our team last year. I wasn't here to play with them, but um, you know, Kerry is a really good player. Um, you know, I have a couple transfers coming in, a couple freshmen are really good. Um, it's it's going to be a really good game. I'm excited. How big of a motivator is it to play a team of this caliber when you're jumping into the regular season with competition right out, you know, right out of the gates? Uh, speaking for myself, just you know, coming from a mid-major level, you know, opportunity to open up with, against Oregon in a, in a, like I said, in a nice city of Las Vegas is always a big time deal to do. So, um, you know, a chance to get our feet wet and, and get started and kind of see where we're at as a team is, is always exciting to do. Other than the game, what's uh, you looking forward to the most about going to Vegas? Um, just, just playing the game. Obviously, uh, you know, they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. But, um, uh, I, I just can't wait to play and be out there with my teammates. Be your first time out there? Uh, I've been to Vegas a couple of times, different AAU tournaments. Okay, yeah, that's what like I thought. That, so. Okay, okay. What do you see as your role on this team? Like, what's kind of, what are they asking you to do? Uh, just, just be a veteran guard, a leader, you know, help out, you know, guys like Silas and uh, Blue Kane. Um, try to be that, that extension of Coach White every day. Um, just bring in positive vibes and, and just, you know, score when I have to, facilitate when I need to, and just play defense. Assessing the film from the other night, what do you think that still needs to be improved? Um, we just got to rebound better, uh, communicate. Like I said, it's a new team. You know, it's obviously not going to be, you know, our best, you know, the first day that we're playing a real game with fans for the first time. So um, it's, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. It's going to take time. But, you know, I think we have a chance to be really good. Yeah, thank how, do you, you. how do you feel like you played in that exhibition? I played okay. Um, you know, hit some big time shots. Um, didn't rebound well, you know, as a guard perspective. Um, you know, just a chance to get better every single day is just obviously the goal. I think you talked in Birmingham about the maturity of this, this freshman group. And again, getting back to Silas and, and Blue just a little bit. You know, the fans got to see it on the court yep. for the first time. What did you think about their, their performance? That, was that, is that typical of what you guys have been seeing in practice? Throughout um, the you know, like I said, they, they play like they're juniors. You know, that they're, they're freshmen, but they, you know, it seems like they've been in college before, just their approach to it. And, you know, it's obviously because of the, the prep schools that they've been to. Um, you know, I think they both played pretty well. I think we're going to see that all season for them. It's going to be some bumps in the roses because, you know, that's, that's typical from a freshman. But I think they're going to handle those situations really well. How much of what we saw Monday at RJ Melendez is common with what you guys have seen from him since he joined the team? Oh, he's a really good player. Um, you know, he's, he's a great defender. He can really shoot the ball. He's athletic. Um, I think we're going to see that a lot from him, just of, you know, the way he was rebounding, the way he was hitting shots. Um, like I said, he's a really good player. I'm, I'm excited for him, and I hope he has, you know, continue to have that success that he had Monday night. You talk about the big stage, the, the big arena, all that. You know, how much do you guys see Monday as an opportunity to kind of set the standard for the season? I think it's a big opportunity for us. You know, a lot of people are, are saying we're one of the lower ranked teams in the SEC, which, you know, we, we don't we try not to worry about things like that. The SEC is a really good league, so a chance to put a statement, you know, to America that the Georgia Bulldogs are back is obviously a big opportunity for us. So we're excited. How excited are you for Monday to get here? Um, I can't wait. I can't sleep at night, man. I'd be up all night, you know, just waiting. And I, it's like I look at the Oregon roster every single day, just trying to start my prep, you know, for my game plan, what I need to do, get ready for the game. So, um, you know, I can't wait. Kind of talk about your your individual game prep, just and just on a on not just not just Oregon, but any game you, you happen to play, and kind of kind of what's your what's your routine to mentally prepare for for each game. Well, obviously, this is the first game, so it's a little different. But you know, when the season really picks up, I like to go on synergy and watch a couple of games and see how they play before you know Coach White and the staff. Uh, you know, break down what they do. So with Oregon, you know, I know a couple guys on that team. So obviously a chance to get to play against them. A couple of Houston guys on that team. So um, prep is a big thing for me. I think that, uh, you know, the more prepared that I am, the better I can play. Who are they on Oregon team? Um, Jesse Zerzuela. Okay. Um, he's a Houston kid. Um, you know, had a kind of similar journey to me, you know, going traveling to multiple D1s and playing the junior college level. So um, we played AU together for a couple games in, in the Houston area, so I can't wait to play against them. Is that pretty common? All you Houston guys kind of keep in touch with each other that it's all over the place? Or just, just kind of? Uh, uh, you know, obviously, like, Houston's a really big city. Sure, so sure. A lot yeah, of really yeah. Good players. But, yeah, um, yeah. you know, the guys that I have played with, I try to, you know, watch their games and, um, you know, follow their careers. And, you know, we'll talk about it all the time. So, you know, it's, you know, just good vibes, obviously. It's a good friend. You said that 